Yeah, welcome back to my channel. We have a wonderful math Olympiad question to solve. Here we are asked to find the value of x. If 8 to the power of x plus 1 is equal to 800. First thing first, let's remember this law of exponents that states that a to the power of m plus n is equal to a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n. Okay, we are going to express this in this form. So now we have 8 to the power of x multiplied by 8 to the power of 1 is equal to 800. Okay, now 8 to the power of 1 is 8. So we can write this as 8 to the power of x multiplied by 8 is equal to 800. Now we are looking for x. Let's start removing anything that is attached to x. So let's divide both sides of this equation by 8. So dividing both sides, dividing both sides by 8. So we have 8 to the power of x multiplied by 8 divided by 8 is equal to 800 divided by 8. If we solve further, we will have this, we remove this, right? So we are left with 8 to the power of x is equal to 8, we divide this to give us 1. So we have 100, all right? So it's equal to 100. Now, remember that since the variable we are looking for is the power, the only way to find it is to introduce log to both sides, okay? Introducing log. Introducing log on both sides. We are going to have log 8 to the power of x is equal to log 100. Is this the first time you are seeing this channel? If yes, then you need to subscribe. Yes. So that when we upload new videos, you'll be notified so I don't miss our videos, all right? Give us a thumbs up if you love what we are doing. If you don't, comment, tell us what we should do to do better. And always tune in at your convenience. There must be something new for you to watch. Thank you very much. So looking at this, recall that log A raised to the power of B is equal to B multiplied by log A. That means this we come down to multiply log 8. We have x log 8 is equal to log 100. Now, let us divide both sides by log 8. Dividing both sides by log 8. If we do that, we will have, we will have x log 8. divided by log 8 is equal to log 100 divided by log 8. Okay, log 8 we divide this up to give us 1. 1 times x is x is equal to log 100 divided by log 8. We can express 100 as 4 multiplied by 25. Okay? Now let's go ahead and do that. So we are going to have x is equal to log 4 multiplied by 25 divided by log 8. Now recall that log a multiplied by b is equal to log a plus log d. That means that we can write this as x is equal to log 4 plus log 25 divided by log 8. Okay. Now, solving for them, 
solving for that we have x is equal to log 4 divided by log 8 plus log 25 divided by log 8. Now remember that 4 is the same thing as 2 squared, 8 is the same thing as 2 cubed, and 25 is the same thing as 5 squared. So we are going to replace this with this, okay? We have x is log 4 is 2 squared divided by log 2 to the power of 3 plus log 5 squared divided by log 2 to the power of 3. Now using the power rule, this will come down to multiply this. So we will have x, um, let's start from here. Okay, so now we are going to have x is equal to log 2, two log 2, right? So this will go back 2 log 2 divided by 3 log 2, 3 log 2 plus, this will be 2 log 5, 2 log 5 divided by and this will be 3 log 2. 3 log 2. I would like you to watch to the end and see how I proved that the answer I got is correct. Okay, that is the most interesting aspect of this video. So we have that x is equal to, this we divide itself, we have 1. So we have 2 over 3 plus 2 over 3 log 5 divided by log 2. Now, if we solve further, we will have x is equal to 2 over 3 plus 2 over 3 log 5 base 2 using change of base rule. Now, since they share the same denominator, we can express this as when 3 divides 3, we have 1. 1 times 2 is 2. Plus, when 3 divides 3, we have 1. 1 times 2 log 5 base 2 will give us the same thing. 2 log 5 base 2. Now, we have x is equal to this is the value of our x. Now, let's us prove that the answer we got is correct, okay? Yeah, because there is, we cannot simplify this further, more than this. So permit me to clean everything. Permit me to clean everything, everything, everything. All right. Now, let's see if the answer we got is right. We have 8 to the power of, so we have 2 plus 2 log 5 base 2 divided by 3 plus 1, okay, is equal to 800. We are guessing, we are not sure yet, until we prove that, all right? Now, we have 8 to the power of, this is 1 over 1, so let's add this to this. The LCM is 3. So we have 3. When 3 divides 3, we have 1. 1 times the whole of this will give us the same thing. 2 plus 2 log 5 base 2. Okay? Plus, when 1 divides 3, we have 3. 3 times 1 is 3. Is equal to 800. Okay? Now, we have 8 to the power of 2 plus 3 is 5. So we have 5 plus... 2 log 5 base 2 divided by 3 is equal to 800. Now, 8 is the same thing as 2 to the power of 3. Okay? So we have 2 to the power of 3 brackets. 
5 plus 2 log 5 base 2 divided by 3. Now, is this equal to 800? I want you to remember that a to the power of m raised to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m times n. Okay? Therefore, we can write this as this to the power of 3 multiplied by this bracket. And if we multiply, then this 3 will remove this 3. Okay? So we are left with 2 to the power of 5 plus 2 log 5 base 2. Is this equal to 800? Now, we apply the rule that states that a to the power of m plus n is equal to a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n. So we can write this as 2 to the power of 5 multiplied by 2 to the power of 2 log 5 base 2. Is this equal to 800? Now we have 2 to the power of 5 multiplied by this 2 will become the power of this, right? So we have 2 to the power of log 5 squared base 2, okay? Is this equal to 800? So we have 2 to the power of 5 multiplied by 2 to the power of log 5 to the power of 2 is 25. We have base 2 is equal to 800. Now looking at this, what we need to do next is I want us to recall that a to the power of log b base a is equal to b. Okay? And if that is the case, we will have 2 to the power of 5, which is 32, multiplied by, this becomes 25, right? Is this equal to 800? Now, 32 is something as 30 plus 2. And 25 is something as 20 plus 5. Is this equal to 800? Okay? So 30 times 20 is 600. 30 times 5 is 150. 2 times 20 is 40. 2 times 5 is 10. Okay? Now, is this equal to 800? Is this equal to 800? Now, 600 plus 200 is what? 800. So, you can see that the left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side. And that proves that the answer we got is correct. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you next time. Bye.